Hello again, everybody. This has got to transform. Well, I have today a pretty decently sized Dollar Tree pack opening. It is 52 of these Dollar Tree packs of Rebel Clash. This uh, was a Christmas gift, uh, not even wrapped up. It's pretty much just like, here's a Dollar Tree bag and all these packs inside of it. <laughs> uh, just deciding to open them up now, just I've had I've just had other things I was more interested in opening, and I generally don't know if we're going to get anything new, anything exciting, uh, because Dollar Tree packs can be very iffy. <laughs> uh, so who knows? It could pop off or it could just not. Uh, fingers crossed that it does though. Uh, before getting into this though, because uh, I, I want to get right into this because this is going to take a while for me. Uh, I open these. I go through this slowly. I think. Anytime I do a dollar pack opening, it just feels like it goes on forever. Uh, but I'm going to be counting all of the pulls out of these. And basically what I mean is what I consider a pull. Uh, there are three, well, first there are three cards in the pack. The first one is a common. The third card is an uncommon. The middle card can be any card in the set. A lot of times you just get another common. But sometimes you get reverse, a rare, a hollow, an ultra rare, a secret rare. Like it's second, the second card in this pack can be literally any card in the set. And even if it's just like a reverse hollow common or a non-hollow rare, I consider that a pull because that's not the common card, essentially, <laughs> being a common card. Uh, so yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing, making a little pile next to the background guys here. Which, by the way, we have Sharkcon and Bulbasaur, as always. This guy right here is Cheetor from the Transformers Cyberverse toy line. And he's wearing the spark armor that he came with. It's like a little boat. Turns into like a armor with arms. Which, I will say there's a pro and a con to this guy. First, I'm impressed he is standing. Because I generally believed that this piece was going to be too awkwardly heavy that he wasn't going to be able to stand up, but nope, he's having zero problems standing up. Like, I put him down, and he has not fallen over once. Uh, the thing I don't like is that these armor arms aren't over his actual arms. <laughs> like, he just has two set of arms for whatever reason. I think that kind of looks goofy, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the packs now, because again, I, I'm three minutes in, and I said I wanted to get going. So we will start with these. Oh, and if, you can get energies in these. Uh, if you if we see... There's no ad? There's no ad. Okay, that's going to be interesting to see what all we get. I don't know if they just stopped with the ads, because they were so outdated. Or if there's something weird going on, but anyway, uh, you can get an er energies in these. If we get an energy, they are getting thrown away. And I mean that literally and literally. And you will see why if and when we get them. But let's focus on this Squibbit. So Squibbit, Twin Energy, and Applin. So that is more or less your more <laughs> common pack. Two commons and an uncommon. I mean, honestly, if they if they stopped, yeah, I guess they stopped the uh, little ad cards, but that's fine because they haven't updated them since X and Y. Uh, I don't know why they just wouldn't update them, but they didn't. So I'm fine with them being gone because they're not code cards. They're just more trash. Uh, not to Dan and Varboch. I remember the first time I opened these, or I found them rather, I genuinely thought they only picked like one pack art of the set to put on the Dollar Tree packs, but as you can see, like you have Cinderace and Teleon, you got the other two in there probably. Uh, I genuinely thought they only put one of the pack arts because I swear the first time I found these, I forget what set it was, but it was I, they only had one artwork. 
and I was stunned when I found more and they had the other artworks. Um, anyway, Aracuda. Glare and Meowth. See what I mean? <laughs> the, like, the, the energies should absolutely not be put into these. Like, uh, that's, in my opinion, kind of a ripoff, just putting them in these. We have a Vulpix, Sonia, and there we go. Our first pull, Reverse Hollow Toxel. So that is number 68. I do have my sub list, so I can check if we got new cards. Nope. Duplicate Hollow, but it is a pull out of these Dollar Tree packs. So we're counting it for the pulls. It will be interesting to see uh, just how many we get. When all said and done, we have Roly Colton. Metapod, and another reverse, Galar Mine. I know I'm only missing a uh, Tool Scrapper, for the trainers anyway. We have Galarian Yamask, Turffield Stadium, and Garbodor. So multiple packs in a row here with a pull. Because Garbodor there is a non holo rare. Alright, we have Galarian Darmaka. And Barascuda, which is another nice reverse. That is actually a rare. Awesome. 53. Nope, it is a duplicate, but still another fantastic pull. And we have Electabuzz, Milo, and Squilbit. Going back to a normal pack there. Yeah, I'm totally fine with there not being an ad in these. Because they were almost just like padding or filler at this point. Voltorb and Growlithe. Doxel, the non-reverse uh, version, Electrode, and Litwick. I am going to say I hope we get at least one Ultra Rare. I mean, out of 52 Dollar Tree packs, I'd be, I mean, not surprised or disappointed if we don't get one. But we'll just see. We have Applin, Carcol, Tool Scrapper. <laughs> Talking about it unexpected. I just, like I mentioned, uh, this is the last trainer reverse I needed. Like that alone just made this opening for me. That is fantastic. I am happy with that. Like anytime I get a new card, that is awesome. But like, that has been the last trainer I was missing for a good while now. <laughs> so it's good to just finally knock that one right off the list. We have Galarian Darumaka, Turffield Stadium, and Vulpix. I mean, obviously I hope we get some more good stuff, but if not, hey, at least we got a new card. We have Galarian Yamask and Surskit. We have Galarian Corsola. Glitwick. <laughs> that made a louder noise than I was expecting. Uh, like, like. How many is that now? Five? It's already five. Like, they, they should not be included in these. I will say that every time. Like, 
energy cards should not be included. Trubbish. They're teasing me at this point. <laughs> P-Love. And we have Galarian Meowth. Not an energy. Holucha and Caterpie. And we have a Snover, Shuckle, and Natu. So nothing since the school, uh, since the school scrapper, the tool scrapper. But again, I'm just happy we got that. Like a brand new card is fantastic. We have Galarian Farfetch'd, Lumbre, and Ludicolo. Very fitting. That would have that would have been crazy if this had been a low tab. Like just getting all three together. Uh, the Lum uh, Ludicolo, rather, is a non holo rare. It's an awesome pull there. <laughs> Look who's in the front of the next one. Why couldn't you have swapped with the Farfetch'd? Got Lotad, Zatu, and Clefairy. Now I'm actually hoping we like get that to happen. Where you just get like a three stage line in a single pack somehow. We got a Bowie, Hatram, and Vulpix. I have no clue how close we are to finishing this. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't know how many's left. Because I've been grabbing from both, uh, both piles. There was 26 in each. And I've just been grabbing from both. So I don't know how many's left. Helioptile, Luxio, and Scissor. Nice non hollow. And there's, there's too many for me to bother counting at this point, anyway. All right, we have a Pedov, Trackloak, and Galarian Darmaka. Well, wait, was Luxio the... The Lair and Mr. Mime. Oh, Luxio was the third card. Snover, okay. Uh, I, I thought I just like accidentally spoiled the middle card by having the Luxio kind of popping up at the end. Uh, but that was the Uncommon. All right, we have Wingle, Luxio again, and Phantom. And we have Toxel. We are doing so well. And Hatrum, that is an uncommon. What number are you? 84. Nope, that one's a duplicate, but still. Another pull for these Dollar Tree packs. <laughs> Let's just do that. We have Toxel and Applin. Made it easier that it poked itself out for us. So we just knew right away. And we have a Bronzor, Dracloak, and Snorlax. Another non holo. So, so far, only non hollows and reverse hollows. Nothing hollow or better yet. Which is concerning, but. I mean, we'll still see. Phantom, Pelipper, and Galarian Farfetch'd. That's the first Magikarp, I believe. 
with little uh, Pokemon Smile Pikachu sneakily put in there before the release and reveal of Pokemon Smile. There's a Twin Energy and Metatite. I have not, like, I, like, my personal opinion on Pokemon Smile, I have never tried it. I've never downloaded it. I've never played it. I don't intend to. But it's an awesome idea. Like, it's like no harm, no foul in that in that regard. And I personally think it's a great idea for what my opinion on Pokemon Smile is worth. <laughs> and I do love that I think it's uh, every Gen 1 Pokemon. Like, I thought it was just going to be like the handful they sort of showed in the uh, reveal trailer. But from what I've seen on Cerebi, it's like every single Gen 1 Pokemon is catchable. Which is insane. <laughs> you can, like, complete a Kanto Dex by brushing your teeth. That is a sentence. <laughs> Impidimp, Shuffle, and a Clefairy. Reverse Hollow. That is a common 74. Ah, I need Clefable. Where's your Moonstone? Can we evolve you still? <laughs> Alright, let's move this over so I'm picking from one stack. We have to be at least halfway through at this point. Pretty sure. We have a Caterpie, Beware, and Barbarical. Another non-hollow. As I mentioned, I am not fast with this. <laughs> I've, I've done enough of these to know that. Like, I am just not quick at opening these. So they tend to be long videos. We got Atena, Hatrum, Metapod. <laughs> I was like, can we do it here? Nope, it is a Metapod reverse. And not one I need, but still another nice pull. I'd have taken like a reverse Hatterim. <laughs> Excuse me, we have a Voltorb. Growlithe. Again, we were, we were doing so well without those. It's like that was the second time we've had a nice run without them that I had forgotten they could be a thing. We have a Milkery, and now they come in a bunch. Uh, we got a Bronzor Reverse, which is nice. Common one, 129. Nope, that is another duplicate. I mean, I'm hoping we get more new cards. I'm hoping we get something amazing. But I'm still just happy we at least got the one uh, new reverse with the tool scrapper again. I'm, I'm not going to pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> we have a Galarian Darmaka. Oleana. And an Eldegoss V. Very nice. There's our first Ultra Rare pull. I'm happy it's an Ultra Rare as well. I think I have this. Yeah, it's a Rillaboom and Pincurchin. That are the only regular Ultra Rares I need. Plus the Inteleon VMAX. Everything else, everything else besides those three is full art and up. But I'm happy we got at least something. Like, again, 52... Like, like, just odds-wise, there should be something, I believe. Like, I don't personally know what the odds for Dollar Tree packs are, but, like, I would hope out of 52 of these, there's something in that much. <laughs> we have a Dreepy. I mean, having said that, I've definitely opened more or less and have not pulled something. So, like, like I said, these are a mixed bag at best. Uh, what was it? Dreepy, Palisand, and Snover. Alright, we have a Squivet, Aragross, and another Galar Mine. Reverse Hollow. Duplicate then, duplicate now. Still another pull. And now it's a duplicate of a duplicate. 
All right, we have a Toxel Lampent and a Barbarical Reverse Rare. I do believe I have this. But if I'm on the main list, I need reverses. Yeah, I have Barbarical. Uh, but I, I think I remember this being an instance of I got the reverse like a while before I finally pulled the regular rare. But still, either way, it is another fantastic pull. We have a Stunky and a Grubbin. We have Galarian Darumaka, Tranquil, and Bunnelby. I really don't know what like I'm like what I'm thinking of. When I say Bunnelby in my weird way, like I feel like I'm imitating something I've heard in my life, and I cannot think of what that could be. We have Nose Pass and a Reverse Hollow Snover. Very nice, another Reverse Hollow. Not one I need, but still very nice. Cinderace on a pack here. We have Galarian Corsola, Training Court, and Mandibuzz, another non holo rare. Getting close to the end finally, 20 plus minutes in. <laughs> As mentioned, I am not fast for these. Like that one pack took much longer than it should have. <laughs> we have a Wingle, Heracross, and Whizcash. I'm surprised we haven't had a duplicated uh, non hollow because that seems more likely than a duplicated reverse hollow. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, nope. <laughs> that wasn't an energy. I thought that was an energy. We have a Phantom, Capacious Bucket, and Bronzor. I was so ready to just throw the the trainer there. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was an energy. Doing it again. Doing it again. These things, it's hard to hide something when there's only so many cards in a pack. But we got something else. We got a nose pass. Oleana again, which I believe was in the pack with the Eldegoss. Toxtricity V. Very nice. Again, only need Rillaboom and Pincurchin, so I wish it was Pincurchin, uh, the one of the other Electric Vs, but that is another fantastic pull. Um, I'm actually surprised we got two uh, Ultra Rares out of these things, and we haven't hit a single Hollow, which is the weirder thing. We have Voltorb. And Scoop Up Net, which is another duplicate trainer, but still another pull. I don't even want to count like the number of energies that are back there. It's it's too many. One is too many. That is stupid. We have Stunky, Burning Scarf, and Clefairy. How many are left now? Oh, just five. All right, so we're getting very close to the end here. Let's see if we can get one more pull. Like, it, it can just be another reverse hollow. But I wanted to see, like, something else near the end here. We have Galarian Corsola, Skyla, and Trevenant. So there we go. Non-hollow rare. I will take that. And again, surprise, it's, like, another new non-hollow. Out of these, at least. Like, I don't know how many non hollows we hit, but we haven't hit a duplicate one. Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We have a Phantom. Chat out. That actually surprised me. 
<laughs> okay, Inteleon V. Like, that one didn't... Like, that surprise wasn't ruined. <laughs> that is a nice-looking Ultra Rare. Again, I'm only missing the VMAX, so I do wish it was the VMAX, but... Like, for Dollar Tree Packs, I can't complain about this. We've hit three Ultra Rares. Which is honestly pretty good. Like, I thought one was actually good. We got three. We have a Voltorb, Durant, and Carpal. Reverse Hall Uncommon, 106. Nope. Duplicate there, but still another pull. And second to last pack has a Squovit Carcol, non reverse version, and a Galarian Mr. Mime. And final pack. See if we can get a reverse hollow or a non hollow or something again to end on. We have oh, might kind of ruin that, I think. Phantom, oof, Galarian Farfetch, not a good pack to end on, not in the slightest. But let me do a bit of sorting for this little recap here. I am so pleased with all that we got here. I definitely needed to uh, count all of this just to see how many like pulls we got out of 26 packs. Uh, but first of all, start with the reverses. We have a Galarian Mime, or Gal Galar Mime, number one, Toxel, Bearscuta, Hatrum, Clefairy, Bronzor, Metapod, Snover, Barbarical, Gallarmine number two, Scoop of Net, Carcoal, and the one new Reverse Hollow, the last trainer I've been looking for, the Tool Scrapper. I'm really happy we got one. Uh, non hollows, we got Garbodor, Scizor, Ludicolo, Snorlax. Barbarical, Whizcash, Mandibuzz, and Tremnant. Again, I'm, I'm surprised we got so many and didn't duplicate any of them. And then finally, we got three Ultra Rares out of these things. We got Eldegoss V, Toxtricity V, and Inteleon V. This was some good Dollar Tree Packs. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Two cards short of a 50-50 split. I will take that odds for these things. Like, what, two cards short from getting at least a pull in every other pack, basically. That is good. Even if only three were like ultra rares and the rest were just non hollows and reverses. Like, again, that's what I count as a pull, just anything that isn't just another common. We did really well here. I'm very happy. Uh, but that is it for this opening, though. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing, I do appreciate it. As I mentioned, I'm not fast when I open these things. Uh, but hopefully, it was just a good fun watcher background thing for you guys or if you just skip to the end thank you anyway i guess <laughs> anyway that's it for this video stay tuned for more of course have a great day